Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom RAM and this time this is the CR Droid 9.7 for our Redmi Note 10 Pro as you can see here. So this is the latest version of CR Droid for our Redmi Note 10 Pro and it is the unofficial build. Its Android version is all the way latest 13 and uh, its security patch is also all the way latest 5 July 2023. So in this video I will be sh going to show you a short review of this ROM and I will also tell you is it stable for daily usage or not and I will also show you uh, its installation process. So without any further ado let's get started. So first of all let's talk about the performance of this ROM. The performance of this ROM is pretty much good enough. There is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything is just working fine. and. Uh, uh, if we talk about the applications, we don't get a lot of junky applications right here. here we only have a uh, few and needed applications. Here we have browser and camera. In the camera, we have this MIUI or Leica camera pre-installed. Maybe this is the Leica camera. Here we have portrait, video mode, document, portrait mode, night mode and in the more options, you can get a lot of options. 108 megapixel mode is also available in this room. So, uh, from the camera side, this ROM is uh, awesome. The camera application is working pretty much amazing. By the way, you can also install any Gcam mode in this ROM. So, after it, here we have Game Space pre installed. Dolby Atmos is also pre installed in this ROM. And uh, let's see the Geek Punch results. And it just scored 575 on single core and it scored. 1672 on multi core these cores are pretty much uh, like normal and uh, now let's go to the settings and have a look on the customizations first of all let's talk about the battery the battery performance of this rom is pretty much good here we have the battery usage uh, the charging speed of this rom is also pretty much impressive it's uh, it is charging on fast speed and the battery backup is also good then we have battery saver battery manager, battery optimization and battery temperature. Then we have storage option, sound and vibration. Here we have a lot of options available. Uh, like here we have clear speaker, haptic feedback, me sound enhancer, which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality. Here we have it. You can change the charging uh, sounds and all other settings. Then we have display. In the display we have all typical options like brightness level, um, dark mode, you can also adjust the uh, display size and text and you can also make the text bold and high contrast. Then we have live display, then you can also change the color profiles. Then we have rotation settings and you can also enable smooth display uh, to make it smoother. It will automatically switch uh, the refresh rate from 60 to 120 hertz for some content like scrolling on social media or while playing games. Then we have uh, tap to wake, tap to sleep, wake on plug and custom display settings. From here you can enable anti flicker mode and you can also enable high brightness mode and uh, you can use this option if you are in uh, outside and in a very harsh daylight. Then we have wallpaper and style. From here you can change the wallpapers. Here we have few wallpapers pre-installed like let's try this one click on apply home and lock screen and this wallpaper will be applied as you can see here it is looking pretty much cool isn't it then you can change the wallpaper colors you can also access the basic colors from right here and after it here we have accessibility security now the main part of this rom is here here we have all security options working like screen locks are working face unlock and fingerprint is also working fine and here we also have the app lock whenever you set the uh, on screen lock or face unlock or fingerprint any or any of these the app lock will be visible and you can use it out no need to install any third party application to lock your applications then we have privacy location safety and emergency google c address settings and here we have all available customizations first of all we have the customizations of status bar you can manage the status bar icons, traffic indicator, other icons. You can also enable the logo uh, which is shown at the top left. You can change its position and you can also change the logo style, battery style. Then we have quick settings, lock screen portion. 
navigation bar settings button settings you can customize the functions of all buttons like power button and volume rocker buttons then we have the user interface always on display is also available like as you can see here it is working pretty much fine and it looks pretty much sick isn't it the animations looks pretty much cool it just converts your redmi note 10 pro into the 7 pixel 7 pro or 6 pro it looks pretty much cool then we have charging animation full screen app screen of animation monet settings are available navbar style available phone styles available icon pack available single icon style is available wi-fi icon style icon shape and floating rotate button settings is also available then we have notifications sound misc in the misc we have game space and you can also unlock the higher fps in games so it will give you more fps in games and you can also enable unlimited photo storage uh, for the google photos application you can also spoof the netflix here we have google services parallel space and swipe three fingers for screenshot then we have about section after it we have the system in the system we have gestures in the gesture we have quickly open camera system navigation bar you can change the style then we have one handed mode which is working pretty much fine you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand and then we have premium ringing after it here we have date and time backer, backup updater multiple users reset options thermal profiles then at the end here we have about phone section and in the about phone section you can check its, its android version which is android 13 so the rom is pretty much stable and yes you can use it as your daily driver but it is not the official build from CR Droid, uh, but still it is usable and it is working perfectly there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine so if you want to install the CR Droid 9.7 latest version on your redmi note 10 pro then the download link of this rom is in the description box and you can follow these uh, instructions to install this rom without getting errors so i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates if you have any question or queries about this video or any rom then you can let us know in the comment sections and you can also join us on the telegram group and channel telegram group and channel link is in the description box keep supporting thanks for watching peace